Hi, it's Deadshot, and for our three-minute camera review today, we're looking at the Canon New F1. The New F1 was released in 1981 as a professional SLR, and there's a lot to like about this camera. To be honest, Canon is usually one of the last cameras I reach for when I'm shooting, but this camera has been really, really enjoyable to use. It's built like a tank, and there's a lot of features in it with a fairly intuitive layout. I hate where the battery goes. The battery is in an odd location in the front of the camera behind a metal plate which doubles as a grip. A button on the top allows you to do double exposures. There's a knob around the shutter release button allowing you to lock the shutter, turn on the self timer, or use the standard shooting mode. There's a large exposure compensation dial and ISO dial right here. And to change the ISO, it can be a little bit of a challenge with this small button right here on the side. So what does new mean in F1? Well, the original F1 was released in 1971 while this one was released in 1981. And about halfway through that time, they also released an F1N with some improved features. The F1 is a system camera, which includes five viewfinders and 13 focus screens and two winders. It is an F1N. FD mount camera, and one of the things that the new F1 gives us as opposed to the old one is a hot shoe in the viewfinder. The viewfinders are removable with two buttons on the sides and it just slides back. And a lot of the accessories for the new F1 are not compatible with the original F1. You'll notice several buttons on the left side of the camera here. The big silver one allows you to lift up the film door release. This black button allows you to change the exposure compensation. And then as shown earlier, there's the ISO button here. One of the things a little bit different with the new F1 is also the light meter mode. Normally it only activates the light meter while the shutter release button is halfway depressed. Hold allows it to meter for 16 seconds. There is a nice bright light on the light meter when shooting in low light. There's a battery check button in the front, which is kind of a strange place for a battery check button. There's also a depth of field preview button right here. And unlike most cameras, when you press this to get a depth of field preview, this one stays on until you depress this again. The viewfinder is large and it is a full information viewfinder. Let's take a look inside. It's easy to see your shutter speed at the bottom and then apertures are on the side. If your needle is right inside the circle, you have an exact exposure. If it's touching the edge, it's a half stop off. And if it's outside of it, it's one stop. Here's some pictures I've taken with the Canon new F1. 